Hi, this is Taisha Roland from Science Buddies. In this video, we will show you how to build a device that separates iron filings from sand. To build something that separates two different types of matter, such as iron filings and sand, you have to first look at specifically what makes them different. This usually has to do with different properties that they have. For example, here in this table, we are looking at two different properties, solubility in water and magnetism. For solubility, we can see that both iron filings and sand are not soluble in water. This means that using solubility is not a good way to separate iron filings and sand because they will both do the same thing. They will not dissolve in water. For magnetism, we can see that iron filings are attracted to magnets, but sand is not. This means that magnetism is a good property to use for separating iron filings and sand because they should behave differently. Specifically, if you put iron filings near a magnet, they should stick to the magnet. Sand, on the other hand, should not stick to the magnet. We are now ready to make a device to separate iron filings from sand based on magnetism. You will need to gather some materials to do this science project. You will be using the scissors and possibly a knife to cut the plastic bottle in half. You may need to have an adult help you do this. Be sure to follow all safety precautions when handling the neodymium magnet discs, including keeping them away from electronic devices, which they can destroy, not letting them snap together, not letting them pinch fingers, and never swallowing them. Make sure two of the jars have a narrow opening so that the narrow end of the bottle can rest in the opening, like you would do with a funnel. So let's get to making the actual separation device. Place a plastic bottle upside down. Next, carefully cut the bottle in half. Keep the bottom part, which was previously the top of the bottle, for now. You may need to have an adult help you cut the bottle in half. Now cut a long piece of shipping tape and try to roughly wrap it around the narrow part of the bottle. Make sure the sticky side is facing out because you do not want the tape to stick to the bottle. If, it, if the tape looks like it is a good length to fit around the end of the bottle, move on to the next step. If the tape is too long, you can cut it down until it fits. If the tape is too short, try this again using a longer piece. It is better to have a piece that is too long than too short. On a flat surface, set down the piece of tape with the sticky side up. Next, place one of the neodymium magnets on the left or right end, either on the top or bottom half of the tape. Now carefully fold the tape over the magnet so that the magnet is sealed inside, but do not seal too much tape because you will be adding more magnets. Put a second magnet in the piece of tape and seal it next to the first magnet. While you do this, put a finger on the first magnet to hold it down. The magnets will want to snap together and this will make the process more challenging. Keep adding a magnet to the strip of tape, one magnet at a time, until the entire strip of tape has magnets sealed inside of it. Be sure to hold down the magnets while you add the next ones. The strip of tape may hold about 8 to 10 small magnets. Now take your strip of magnets and wrap it around the narrow end of the bottle you cut. In these close-up images, you can see that the magnets are not at the very bottom of the bottle, but as close to the bottom as they can get and still be relatively close to the, any iron filings that go through the bottle. You will also want to secure the strip of magnets to the bottom of the bottle. You can do this by letting some magnets overlap and attach to each other, as shown on the left. Even if you do this, you should still use a few pieces of tape to attach the strip of magnets to the bottle, as shown on the right. So let's see how well our separation device works at separating iron filings and sand. To test the device, set it up so that it is resting on the opening of a jar. You can see here that we are using a large jar that has an opening small enough so that the bottle sits within the opening. Then you can take a mixture of sand and iron filings and slowly pour it into the bottle's top. The bottle should funnel the sand and iron filings mixture so that it goes down into the jar. What do you think is happening to the iron filings and sand in the mixture as they go through the bottle? When you are done, you should end up with sand in the jar below. In the bottle, there should be iron filings stuck to the magnets and some sand. The sand should not actually be stuck to the magnets, but is simply resting on top of the iron filings. 
To get rid of the sand, you can carefully and slowly pour the contents of the bottle back into the jar that is holding the rest of the sand. Take a look at the inside of the bottle now. It should mostly be iron filings which are still attached to the magnets. To separately collect the iron filings, put the bottle over a new jar that has a narrow opening. Baby food jars can work well for this, but they do not hold much. When the bottle is over the jar, carefully remove the tape strip of magnets. In the new jar, you should end up with mostly iron filings. When scientists are separating two different things, they often want to know how well the separation worked. To figure this out, they look at the purity and yield of their product. You could do this too. For example, you can look at your sample to see how pure it is. In other words, is it entirely iron filings or is there still a lot of sand too? You can figure out the yield by weighing how much iron filings you had at the beginning when you made the sand and iron filings mixture and then weighing how much you had at the end. Just keep in mind that some of the weight at the end might be due to contaminating sand. We have just shown you how to make a device that separates a mixture of sand and iron filings by using the property of magnetism. Now you can design and create your own device that can separate iron filings, sand, and table salt based on their different properties. You can click on the link that will take you to the Science Buddies project idea that includes a materials list and more background information about these properties and how they can be used to separate these different types of matter. You can also find many more directions for over a thousand different science project ideas at the Science Buddies website at sciencebuddies.org.